Yves Bissouma is definitely one of the best defensive midfielder in the Premier League right now. Since the start of the 2023-2024 Premier League season, he has faced with the midfield partnership of Manchester United, Bruno Fernandes and Casemiro, Asnas Rice and Odegaard, Liverpool McAllister and Sopos like winning all of those battles, and has been a key member of the current 30 am team challenging for the Premier League. After a big summer move to White Hart Lane in 2022, which was a total disappointment at first, the Mali International is looking sharp at the start of the 2023-2024 season under manager Posto Koglu. Born on the 30th of August 1996 in Ivory Coast, Bissouma trained at the Majesty SL Academy in Abidjan. He was to a football academy in Mali. He trained there for five years by playing with future Mali international Hadama Traore. At the age of 18, he joined with Bamako. Bisuma represented Mali at the 2016 African Nation Championship. In the semi final against Ivory Coast, he was brought on as a substitute in the 76th minute and scored the only goal of the game in the 89th minute. His performance at the tournament caught the attention of French scouts. On 7 July 2016, Bisuma signed his first professional contract with Lille with a duration of three years. In his first season, he made 23 appearances, scoring one. And in the following season of 2017 to 2018, Bisuma was a beast at the French League, playing the DM role. He completed 876 of his 1047 passes attempted, about 88% pass completion, winning 50 tackles out of 67 attempted, making a total of 15 blocks. His role as a defensive midfielder doesn't require him scoring, although he managed to score two goals and three assists. With this performance, he began to gain more ground as one of the best young defensive midfielders in the world. Bizuma transferred to Brighton in the summer of 2018 for an undisclosed fee, signing the five years contract with the club. He made his first start in Brighton's third match of the season, a single goal defeat at Liverpool. His first Premier League goal came on the last day of the 2019-2020 season with a long range shot in a 2-1 win against Burnley. He scored his first goal of the new season in a 4-2 defeat against Everton on the 3rd of October 2020. On the 23rd of January 2021 in the FA Cup fourth round, Bizuma scored a 30-yard goal to put Brighton higher in a 2-1 home win against Blackpool. In his first two seasons at Brighton, he won 68 tackles from the 110 attempted, that is about 62% tackle won, completing 1,200 passes from the 1,412 attempted. He also managed 9 block and 32 pass interception. In his last two seasons, his defensive stats began to double, now entering his prime and establishing himself as a world-class defensive midfielder. In the 2020-2021 season, he won 68 tackles from the 104 attempted, 30 pass interception, and 6 shots on good block while completing 1476 pass from the 1697 attempted. By this time, a lot of big names were already on his radar. In his last season at Brighton, he completed 1061 passes from 1193, that is about 90% pass completion, winning 60 of his 76 tackles. This kind of number will definitely keep you attracted to big club and Tottenham came calling in the summer of 2022. Bizuma moved to White Hart Lane for a sum of 30 million pounds. In his first season, his numbers were not great as he struggled to settle and with the whole team playing out of form. It is safe to say Bizuma didn't live up to expectation. He only managed 16 tackles all through the season, winning 13, completing 666 passes from the 733 attempted. That is relatively low compared to his previous number in what was a disappointing season for him and the club as Tottenham finished 8th, missing out of Euro competition. With the arrival of a new manager, Bizuma gained his form once again. He won two consecutive Man of the Match awards in his first two matches against Brentford and Manchester United, winning 17 tackles from the 25 attempted in 7 games, more than what he achieved in the previous season, also completing 492 passes from the 540 attempted, with 16 successful dribbles. Tottenham has won 5 of their 7 matches while facing 3 of the top 6 and are yet to lose any match this season. Although he is qualified to play for any of his best country, Cote d'Ivoire, or his home country, Mali, he represented Mali at the youth level and was part of the under-23 team in 2015 where he played only three matches. He was a part of the Mali squad to the 2016 African Nations champion. As Mali finished second place after losing the final to DR Congo, that same year he made his senior debut for Mali and was named in Mali squad for the 2021 African Cup of Nations, played in January 2022. He made an appearance in the first match on the 13th of January, coming on as a 59-minute substitute, replacing Adama Traore in a controversial one who victory over Tunisia, with the referee brain for full time early on two occasions. God bless African referees. Bizuma played in whole fall of Mali's matches. as the they were knocked out via penalties against Equatorial Guinea in the round of 16. He has a total of 30 caps and 3 goals for the Eagles of Mali. Bizuma has played an important role in Mali's qualification to the African Cup of Nations and will be an important member of his national side come January 2024. And there you have it guys, the rise, fall and rise again of Yves Bissouma. I personally believe he will go on to achieve a lot before the end of his career. Maybe, just maybe, this season might be the season Tottenham will win a silverware in a very long time. Thank you for watching my video, it means a lot to me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Peace.